Hi guys, I'm Travis Graves with Wrestling With Ghosts, and up until recently I've been featured less on the show than High Pitch Mitch the Furry. <laughs> that was fun. But believe me, I'm a full-fledged member of this crew that receives salary and benefits just like Big Luke and Funkmaster V. Nope. Tonight's top five list is top five most intelligent paranormal clips. To me, something that qualifies as a piece of intelligent paranormal activity is something that responds to our questions and, and some sort of stimuli that it can interact with. So clip number five uh, happens in a small abandoned town in North Carolina that we like to frequent. Me and another investigator spent about 10 minutes trying to get some activity for this light bulb to either break or turn off or something. We moved one room to the left and would not believe what happens. That here, shine a light on that so I can see it. That just shattered and just it's shattered. on tape. Piece of evidence number four comes from an episode where we went to the Greenbrier restaurants, one of the most famous restaurants in the area. The story behind the Greenbrier is that a, a bride, Lydia, was, was left jilted on her wedding night because her husband left and she took it really hard. Come to find out, he just left to go get supplies and he sadly didn't make it back. So Lydia was very distraught, decided to take her own life. It's a very sad tale. So in this moment in episode, Funkmaster V decided, let's try to let's try to flirt with the undead bride. Lydia, we're gonna play a game, it's called the shoulder game. You ready? One, two, three, four. What's up, baby? <laughs> Game. Game. I do have game. I may be old, I still have game. Can I put my hand right here on your leg? Mm. Can I put my hand right here on your leg? Mm. Can I put my hand right here on your leg? Mm. Piece of evidence number three comes from the Merry Death Antiques, which is a very cool place that myself and Luke had a lot of fun in. So Funkmaster V and myself were upstairs with what we called the ethereal machine and it spoke to us and supposedly gave words to the dead, kind of, and uh, myself and Funkmaster were upstairs, and we were getting kind of agitated, we weren't getting exactly what we wanted, so we decided, hey, well, let's go on downstairs, and Funkmaster V, right before we left, said, hey, if you need anything, give me a call, and they did. Come, come with us. All right, you're boring. You were a lot cooler earlier. Well... Don't take it personal. Get out of here, shut up. No one cares no more. No more. Bye bye. I'm just kidding. If you need help, you can always call me. Didn't that sound like a telephone? Yeah. When I said call me. Clip number two comes from an episode where we went to the Severe Distilling Company and with a gentleman named Mr. Yeti, and he was a very nice gentleman. He let us in. He like gave Luke tons of alcohol, so that was always a plus for everybody involved. We on Wrestling with Ghosts always have a problem with dowsing rods. This was the first time that we fully used them in an investigation. And after we using the dowsing rods came down to a, a gentleman's name, Roger. We used the dowsing rods, and we figured out not only who Roger is, but why Roger was there. Roger, Roger, can you point? Hey, Roger, if this is you, Roger, if if it's you, point it at me. If this is you, okay, Roger, we know. All right, so we know this is Roger. How? Who? Who are you? <laughs> are you? A, are you a cowboy? Cross. If yes, point to Luke, which is this guy. If no. I feel like we're just You're playing. asking the wrong question. Are you a moonshiner? That's exactly what I was about to ask. If you are a moonshiner, point over to Yeti. Ooh. All right. All right. Well, um, <laughs> good night, <nice laughs> <meet you, brother. laughs> Clip number one comes from uh, the old Afollet Post Office, which is, if you ask some of the members of our team, in my opinion personally, is, is one of the most haunted places on planet Earth. Um, there was a moment where myself and my ex girlfriend at the time, Beth, were downstairs with everybody else and. She had walked a little bit farther ahead and this door that was easily a couple hundred pounds to, to pressure to close, slammed shut on its own, separated Beth from everybody else in the group. 
I came running, and I'm a big guy, I'm a pro wrestler. I shoulder tackled this door with everything I had, and it moved about that much. And then I shoulder tackled it again, it finally came open. Beth was crying, I embraced Beth, and Funkmaster V was trying to get control of the situation because this was an episode where we had a lot of other people with us, it was a web invite, so everybody's freaking out, Funkmaster V is trying to get control, I'm hugging Beth, there's tears, and Funkmaster V exclaims to me, get her out of here, and this voice repeats Funkmaster word for word. Here, let's, let's remain quiet and get over here. Oh, oh, oh my god! Get through there, Travis. Where's Beth? It's been shutting. Every time she leaves, it shuts behind her. Take her outside. Come on. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Somebody said, get out of here. Did you hear that thing? Yes. You hear that song? Yes. No, it said, get out. It said, get her out of here. Yeah. Women always have trouble here. This, no this brother here just said the fair sex has always had trouble in this place because for the longest time women weren't allowed here. Well guys, that was all of our evidence today for our top five. Um, this one I got to be in a lot, so that's always a plus. Nope. Season three is now upon us. Uh, make sure you check it out. We do have the debut episodes of our friend Candy Thompson. We're very excited for that. Be sure to check us out on AsaiTV.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe on our YouTube page at BigAndFunkyProductions.com. I don't know why I said .com, it's a YouTube page. You want to try, you want to try <laughs> again? Oh, I see you keep that in, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that could be the end of it. All right. Everybody laughing at my expense. Yeah. <laughs>